be infected already, but there's nothing they can do for the virus. Awful. I should have. Numbers he got. Everybody gathers. What? Probably I'd say either under here or all the way over. What number is Michael? Good luck. What? What number is Michael? Hello. Seventy. Seventy. Which one is this here? Like that? Yeah, I don't know, I'm in front of these guys. Getting ready. Coming up, Vestal Ithaca JVs from Dick Hoover Stadium. The big view. This is the opening game of the season. Ithaca is in red and white. Vessels in there. The concession the stand is now open. It's located under the home bleachers. Ladies and gentlemen, we have regular pizza and breakfast pizza in our uh, concession stand. Uh, a reminder, please help keep the club, uh, stadium clean by placing your re garbage and your recyclables in the proper containers throughout the stadium. Thank you. Have a good day. Teams are pretty excited. This is being the opening game. Two 
varsity played last night. Second down. Kind of long two, I think. Yeah, long two, about two and a half. At least the way the markers are. Second first down of the season. Off to a good start here. First and ten about the uh, 43 and a half of Ithaca. I'm guessing though. I'm guessing. Second and eight on this one.
Okay, it's going to be third and about five at the 38. I think he made it, but I think they might call for the chains. No? First down. 32. No call for the chains, they able to determine. Second and six or a long five. Or maybe even a short five. It's a little tricky to tell now that we're getting the chance in this area. Uh-oh. Yeah, Muff is going to make it third and long. Let's see what we come up with here. See what a third and long play has for strategy since it's the first one of the season. Executed running play. Play there. Be second down. The question is uh, second and what? Or oh, they're going to call chains on this one. Where are they? Let's see. No, no, no change yet. Second and about three. Now to get the marker down, I can tell. A good solid running play. They're at the five yard line. Ooh, let's see. I'd say it's going to be a first. Yep, I think so. First and goal.
like they got a fairly solid gain inside the five. No touchdown now. Yeah, it looks like they're at about the two for the ball markers. I'm not so sure it's closer to the one. Touchdown, Vesco, yep. So the JV Golden Bears are off in the first drive for a touchdown. Took the ball at their own 32 and took it down the field on the ground. Good blocking along the way and uh, converted a third and long with a very solid run also. See, looks like we're hey, hey, going to try the running conversion. And it's good. A little time out at 3.53 of the quarter here. It's 8 nothing Festival. Okay. Let's see, kick off after the touchdown. I'm trying to see, if I see what I'm doing here. And to kick off. This is kick off to Ithaca. Short kick off. They turned Ithaca to about their own 40. First plays with the ball today. Their first snap coming up. First and ten at the 40. Their own 40. It's like a completed pass play. Play went for 16 yards and a first down for Ithaca. First and ten at the bear forty-six. Looks like a gain of about four. Tackle by number 70. About second and six. Here we come. It's coming around. They're going wide. And number 20 carried the ball there. Looks like another Ithaca first down. Comes around Vestal's left defensive side and Ithaca's right defensive side. First down. So it'll be second and ten. Ithaca. This is a uh, best of 25 yard line now. Nice sunny Saturday morning here. This 10 a.m. start. Starting to heat up, but I think by noon time it'll be a little warmer than it is right now. Little run around 
on the uh, left side of the Ithaca offense, right side of the Vestal uh, defense. Run went for about three yards. Third and seven. Be the first uh, third and long for the Ithaca team. Here we come. Oh, there we go. Sacked by number 62. Quarterback went down. And it's going to be fourth and about ten and a half. Ball and downs. Defense stood tall for Vestal on that drive. Right, Vestal's taking over. First and ten and a twenty-six. Very good defensive step there. Well, the Ithaca defense now has a turn and looks like it's gonna be just second and nine as that one was pretty well stuffed at the line. Yeah, one yard gain is all. Five got into the backfield and put that one now. Actually, uh, it's going to be a third, I think a little more than 10. I think they started at 26, it's at 25 and a half now. This will be a third and long play. Pass it again for Vestal. No, incomplete. Fourth and 11. And that was the end of the quarter. So it'll be second quarter before the next play, which will be fourth and ten and a half. There we go. Punk turned out to be a short punt to start the second quarter here. So I think it's going to have very good field position to start this drive. Keep the lead, the vessel. Keep that going to come up a big series here. And in the meantime, I think I would like to get on board yeah, that's right. for the first time this season. Sound like there's 50,000. Go, go, go! 
starts with a first down around their left end. Bustle's race defensive side. First and ten at the twenty one. Bustle defense better stiffen up here, or it's going to be a game more close to a tie game. See where the marker goes. Looks like a game of about four. Second and six. And they are now inside the 20 to 17 yard line. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's the way. Smack him. There we go. It's like third and four. This could be a key play of this drive, although I think this is four down territory for Ithaca. Forty's got the ball again for Ithaca, and oh, I think he may have squeezed out the first down there on the sideline over there. First and uh, goal, about the nine. I'm make it the eight. There, looks like that was a attempt to run off tackle on the left side for Ithaca. Second and five. It's a big uh, sequence for both clubs, I'd say, this early in the game. Well, second quarter, but still. A lot of momentum stuff here. Oh, that was good. They, uh, really deep. It's down to about the two and a half, three yard line. Um, actually, it looks more like a one and a half from this angle. Two yards to go. And just sniff that one out. It's going to be fourth down. Looks like 70 was in on that. Great defensive stand by the Golden Bears. Wait a minute, what's uh, timeout Ithaca? I'm not sure what the timeout's about, but uh, 
Maybe there's something I don't know. I, don't know, I think it's going to be first and ten golden bears here. I don't see where there's any change. That was a big defensive stand. Very big defensive stand here in the game. Score still 8 0. Best all there's 8 22 left in quarter number two. Here we go. First and ten, Bustle after the uh, defensive stand. What have we here? First time the flags have flown in this game. Looks like five yard penalty against the, uh, the defense. Might be a neutral zone infraction, I'm not sure. Be my guess. There's a nice run getting broken there. I believe that'll be a Vestal first down. And it looks like we have an Ithaca guy down after the play. Injured player, timeout. Okay, so we will uh, stop. All right. I'm sure I think the injured players are right. Hopefully for them. First and ten Vestal. Oops. I gotta get players in here. There we go. I might have missed that run. Let's see. Oh, we got face mask against Ithaca. It's a short gain on the run, but I think the face mask will probably overrule it. It's going to be first and ten at the 40, 41. Russell yeah. throws a pass, completion, out to the 50, looks like a first down. It's a quick 10 yard completion. Wait a minute, let's see, are they marking it first? First down. Second, I thought they were going for the change. Six fifty-eight and running in the second quarter. around the side. Couldn't get totally outside, but he did make a gain of about, I'd say five yards. Actually six, six yards. Wouldn't know what they've marked. Second and four. I don't think it's a gain, it's minimal, maybe a yard. 
Yeah, it looks like a yard gain. It's going to be third and three at the 43 of Ithaca. This will be a big play in the sequence. I'm not sure if this is four down territory or not, so we'll see if that is up. Here comes 33. Now we got a first down. We can forget about the fourth down. Solid run. Nice misdirection on the play. Very well executed. Got a Golden Bear offense. First down Golden Bears at the 36 and a half of Ithaca. up there. That really hit, which is a good thing. And it's going to be second and I'd say about six. Inside the Ithaca 20 at about, in fact, inside the Ithaca 10 possibly? Let me see, wait a minute, let's see where they mark it. Yes, they're at the Ithaca 7, I believe, first and goal. Shane, who gets a little time off here. Size against Ithaca. Half the distance to goal on this. Really nice push. 22 in for the touchdown for Vesco. Nice run. Cowboys go off down the way. At 3.36 in the second quarter, it's 14 nothing Vesto, conversion to come. the conversion, I believe. Yes. It is now 16-0 Vesco with 3.36 left to go in the second quarter over Ithaca. JV game here on this beautiful sunny Saturday morning at the Cooper Stadium. Okay, we are still in the second quarter. This is the kickoff. Trying to provide wall-to-wall -wall coverage today if possible. Here we come. A little handoff action by the Vesto receiving team, and uh-oh, they've broken it. They've broken it for a touchdown on the kickoff return. That was a designed play by the Vesto, uh, the Ithaca return team, and they gave it to their uh, main running back, number 20. He's been their main running back on uh, offense. Hopefully... Uh, 
Hopefully I got it all there. And suddenly we've got a ball game. It's now 16 to 6 with the uh, conversion coming for Ithaca. That's how quickly things can change in a football game. Although Vestal will have the ball back shortly. Let's see, it looks like they're going to try to kick this one. Yep, they have a kicker out there. And conversion is no good. No. That makes it. Oh, wait, no, no. They just put it up as a seven. I guess it was good. Okay. I didn't see the signal, so maybe it'll be on the video. Anyway, it's 16 to 7 with 325 left in quarter number. Okay, Ithaca is lining up for the kickoff after the touchdown. Game set again, it's 16-7 Bestel. Here at Dick Cooper Stadium with 3.25 left in the second quarter. And uh, here we go. Number five returning for Bestel after it bounced around a little bit. And short return, but it's See, looks like pretty good field position now. Let's see, where are we? I haven't seen the ball marked yet. Oh, there we go. Looks like the 27 of Vestland. There we go. First down. Hey, hey, hey. not seem to see if the uh, kickoff will make a down change here, but we'll see if the Golden Bear offense continues its efficiency that it's had so far in this game. That's going to go for big yards. Coming down the sideline. Look at the guy for Wells inbound at about the 22 yard line. Very nice pass play executed by the Vestal offense. There's still two minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter, which means Vestal's 20, well, 23 yards away. I'm marking it at 23. Plenty of time for the Bear offense to make another score before halftime. Second and about three at the 16. First down, Ithaca. I mean, uh, Vestal, sorry. 
am I trying to do? Become a Vestal football announcer? Don't do that. Okay, here we go. First and ten at the 13, I think. Come on, Nick, hustle it up. Watch the clock. Come 22. Or is it 32? Right up the middle. It's 32 right up the middle for Vestal, and he has a nice run. He's down inside the five. Question is where to mark it. Seconds, 20 seconds. Vestal's got to get moving. Surprised Vestal didn't call a timeout there. And I think we're going to get a timeout, Vestal, on this one. Nine seconds left. Let's see. So it's going to be first and goal. Timeout, Vestal. Just before the half with nine seconds to go. We get first and goal Vestal here, and uh, there's only nine seconds. Right up the middle for the touchdown. Six seconds left to go. And Vestal picks up another one up. I think I actually got that on video. That timeout ended very quickly. So it's 22-7 Vestal. It's six seconds in the second quarter. Conversion coming up. That's three touchdowns and three two-point conversions for Vestal versus um, one touchdown for Ithaca and kickoff return. Six seconds left in the quarter. I'd say to sum up this quarter at this point, I'd say it's pretty much all Vestal except for the one kickoff return, but they do have to kick off now. It's a Six seconds left to go, so. Let's see what the strategy is here. And I'd say Ithaca has a key man, he has number 20, and it looks like he's setting up deep for the return. The guy who got the ball on the last kickoff return. Got change balls. Looks like number seventy to kick off for Vestal. Number 20, he was not deep enough for that, but he's getting the ball. There we go. And that took care of the clock. Switch point four seven at the half. Crystal. A solid first half for the Golden Bears. I think I had one highlight, the uh, kickoff return. Here we go. It's time for the second half kickoff. Again, number 70 is going to kick off for Crystal. From the Crystal 40, but it looks like kickoff spot. Here 
That's it. Good job, they got him. The 20 on the return for Ithaca, but uh, not much there for him on that one. I'm not even sure number 70 might have made the tackle there. Did he get a game? No, actually, he lost on the play. Right back to the 20. 19, right back where it was. After his kickoff return. So, it's like if the kid's going to get into punt formation. Back for Vestal number five. Is, I don't know what's going on there. The officials have something going on with. Oh, looks like a timeout Ithaca. Okay, timeout Ithaca, we will return. Okay, looks like Ithaca's back in punk formation again. Five left in the third quarter. First possession of the second half for the Bear offense, which has been pretty effective at this point. In fact, I would say very effective. I'd say total yardage definitely in favor of the Golden Bears in this game so far. by Vestal, overthrown for number five as a receiver.
Second and ten at the 43. Incomplete also, it was a pass over the middle. So it's third and ten. It's like the Bears come out with passing in mind. You know, the first half they were very effective on the ground. Uh, let's see what we come up with here on the third down. Still 10.47 in the third quarter. Bears have a 24-7 lead. Here we come. And nice keeper by the quarterback. And he's on his way. Oops, they got him inside the 10 now. Number 20 for Ithaca made the tackle. It's going to be first and goal Bears. Question is, uh, somewhere between the five and the ten, looks like they're marking about the eight. Seven and a half, maybe. Keeps it again. He's inside the five this time. He's going to be second and goal. Let's see what uh, marker goes to. Oh, looks like about the one and a half to two yard line. He could have got close to getting in on that play. Left in the third quarter, the score is 30 to 7 Bears at the moment. Let's see what we're going to do here. No good. Uh, scoreboard is not changing. All right, now they're going to reset for the next kick. Hey, okay, here we go. We got 9.52 left. Busto kicking off to Ithaca. We 30 to 7 lead. Here in quarter number three. Number eight fields the ball for Ithaca. And uh oh. Good return out of what he had there. Almost found a seam. He got it back out to the. Uh, Bring your cowbells. 
39, almost 38 and three quarters. for the first down. Washington <laughs> Ethica at the Vestal 34. Solid stop by the best of defense. It's going to be second and long. Yep, second and 12 coming up. for a pass to number nine by Ithaca there. Still going to be third. Wait a minute, was that third? Uh, it's going to be fourth down in about eight, I'd say. I'm guessing with the... Uh, Situation, they might go for it since this is uh, the best of 32 yard line they're at. Yep, looks like they're going for it. Fourth and eight. Festo makes a stop. It'll be a big, big play. Oh, no, it's completed. Uh oh. Number eight for a touchdown. Well, I think it's our best offensive showing of the day here. So no flags in the play, which is good. We only had one set of flags all day so far, so both teams have played pretty well as far as uh, avoiding penalties. No, wait, well, no, that's right. No, there was a couple of defensive penalties that had to go in that last drive before the half. That's right. Forget about those. Conversion for two does not make it item. Nope. So 746 left in the third quarter. It's 30 to 13. Best one. There we go. They think they're lining up for the kickoff after the touchdown. Back 
back deep are 5 and 12, I believe it is, for Dustin. Five, grabbing the ball and about Break the 15. Down. I only got back over the 20 to the 21. So not a bad uh, not a bad place for the offense to start. Must be there having a problem getting their defense set up. All right, timeout on the field. Okay, timeout's over. We're back. First and ten, Vestal. Here comes 42 right up the middle. And Vestal's getting back to what was successful in the first half there because uh, that was a nice run. Went for about uh, 15 yards. In fact, 20 yards, actually. I think it went from the 22 to the 42. So one play, big bunch of yards. I think maybe Vestal could uh, exploit this defense some more on the running plays here. Offensive lines doing a fine job. Time it didn't go much too much, but that was a kind of a counter play, and there was three or four Vestal guys there that, I mean, uh, Ithaca guys there that were in the way. The running back's progress, so, but still, we still got a couple of yards out of it. trying to make a stand here. It's third and about seven and a half. This is a big play right now for both squads. As Vestal keeps the ball, it's going to be a momentum shift. If it gets a stop there, it's actually not in four down territory. So. Flag on the play. Face mask, Ithaca. That will probably be a first down, I think. Fifteen yard or so, yeah, it's gonna be a first down. Maybe Ithaca defense victimized itself on that. Stop made without the face mask. Looks a nice run up the middle. Oh my goodness. Very good. Very, very, very good. So, another first down for Vestal there. Oh, 
32 yard line. Oh, they're thinking now. Defense has been spending a lot of time out there, so I would think now that uh, they're going to have a difficult time. Yep. This time of passing under number 80 for Vesta. Caught, I believe. Oh, may or may not be a first down. It's close. Very close. Second and about one and a half. First down, Vestal, inside I think is 20 now, about the 18 and a half. Second and eight on that little run. Vessel's definitely in four down territory inside I think it's 20. But about the 16 now. Direction three makes a nice tackle there to contain the gain. Otherwise, it probably would have gone for a touchdown. It's down to about the 12 and a half now. Third down and I'd say along four to five. I think they're trying to make a stand here. Oh. oh, number 20 on it. They could keep the defense there along with 34. It's going to be fourth down. So though, this is four down territory. It'll be interesting to see if Russell comes up with a play here. Two minutes left in the third quarter still. Plenty of time. Here comes number 20 out with the play for Buster. Okay. Let's see what will happen here. First half, the offensive line is on so much they just go out the middle. I'll see what they do on this one. Quick pass to 20, now incomplete. So that Vestal uh, gives it with the ball and downs. I think it's going to be at their 14. So now the Vestal defense has a good job. Now that we put the clamps on the, the offense, they actually put together something last time they were out in the field. So it's a 30 to 13 score. First and ten at their own. At 
call it their 12, I'm not sure. But number 20 is trying to make sure that doesn't make any difference, and it looks like he is behind the best of defense. He's 32 trying to catch him, but too late. I think he's been putting the points on the board quickly here, so this lead is starting to dwindle a little bit. It's 30 to 19, Buster, now with 109 left in the third quarter. This game is starting to get exciting. Try to kick the conversion. That's number one holding, number six. No, that was no good. Still 30 to 19, 109 left in the third quarter. Very reset. Short kick rate to 56 for Vesta will deal with it, and uh, Vesta will have excellent field position to start this one at the 48. Let's see if the Bears' offensive line can really sort its dominance here. First and ten, round forty-seven. Oh! Nice try on the pass to number five, but uh, I guess it was just a little tall for him. Third quarter. Urgency, let's go. There's a handoff number twenty two on the inside. And there's some what we've seen in the first quarter. Is that ball went to that run went for some good yardage. It's still third and six, though. It only went for about four yards. That's surprising. Looked like it was going to be for more than that. I heard about that. It's a warm day, although at least right now the sun is not uh, bothering the players. In fact, we've got a nice breeze coming up right now, too. Clouds have come in. Hand off on the inside to 22. They did get into Ithaca territory at the 48. It's going to be fourth and now. There's an interesting call here. I believe Vessel's calling timeout. It's a fourth and about five. Key play here. Very key play on whether well, the going to need to start the fourth quarter. All right, here we go. Key play, fourth and four, 101 left in third quarter. Right, no, 12 minutes. No, it's the start of the fourth quarter. I'm sorry, I thought it was still third quarter. What is going on here? Flags?
Well, I picked up the flag. Oh, it looks like I think I had 12 guys on the field. Too many men on the field defense. I'm asking to cross on the first down, I believe. Let's see. Oh, no, maybe not. Yep, first down, Festal. Ooh. That was not a good thing that happened to do with the defense. Fourth quarter now, folks. It's 11:47 and ticking. Did not realize. I guess the clock still had a minute something on there, but I guess they had run that off, and just the clock had not been run. The referees ruled it was a fourth quarter now. Should be a first down at about the, I think, a 30. He's inside the 10, inside the 5, and out of bounds. First and goal, Vestal, I believe. Nice run. Nice run by 33. Yep, it's going to be first and goal at the 4. And looks like that extra man in the field may have cost it to get dearly on this sequence. But. Still four yards to go, so we'll see what happens here. Second and goal. Still at the four. No gain in the last one. I think it's middle of the net. Buckle on that one. Here oh, comes 42 on a counter tray. Touchdown, Vesco. Nice run. That gives Vestal a 36-19 cushion with 9.45 left in the fourth quarter. We have conversion to come. So, no conversion. So, here's the score. 36-19, 9.45 left in the fourth quarter. Let's see, 
pickup is, oh, we're out of bounds. It's going to be a penalty on the rest over there. Oops. It's the best of players. Nobody, nobody, uh, they just kind of let it go because they were going out. So I think it'll be first down at to get the 40, if I remember. We'll see. Let's see what they call it. Still shows 9.45. Might be the scoreboard's challenge here today because I would have thought a couple of seconds would have run off when he kicked that ball, but maybe not. Another 35 yard line. That's right. Maybe start with first and 10 behind 36 19 to the host Golden Bears. Solid five yard run for Ithaca. The middle there. First time uh, Ithaca's tried to run the ball up the middle with a little bit of success there. Five yards, second and five. It's not bad. Let's see if the Bear defense tightens this up. makes a big stand, gets the ball on a conversion, and gets a short field for the offense at the 32, 34, let's see where they mark it. Looks like the 33. At least that's where I see a little marker there from the uh, official. Yep, marking it at the 33 yard line. Ithaca. Uh -oh. And looks like Vesta was fumbled it right back. Ow. Getting a little sloppy here in the fourth quarter. Might be fatigue has something to do with that. Still not that much of a factor with 15 to go. I think with the 17-point uh, margin, I think they're probably going to go to the pass more now. Yep, they're running the ball with number 20, which makes sense. He's also uh, been able to break some runs, and here he goes. Oh, maybe they don't need to pass the ball. 
So there's a touchdown Ithaca. No flags on the play. And there's still 8 2 left in the third quarter, so suddenly 17 points is down to 11. 36 25. Conversion to come. It looks like they're going to kick for the conversion as I see number one out there. But let's see what they decide. How easily the exploited Vestal's left side there for that uh, touchdown run. But 20 has been very effective running all day. Whoops, he's trying to run for the conversion here. But he's not going to make this one. Just stuffed him. About a yard and a half shy. So, still an 11 point lead. And it'll be a kickoff to come. Hey, I think uh, kicking off. Vesto looks like number six kicking off. Number five and number 42 are deep for Vesto. Here we come. Number five's got the ball. Turn outside the 30. He's got a chance here. So we go for the ways, and he does. We will have it at about Ithaca's 32 yard line, and that sets up the offense in very nice shape. Short field and ready to go here. Right, 33 yards, first and ten. Okay, now if the offense can cash in on a short field here, they should be able to provide the cushion they need to win the game. But let's see what happens. Oh. Pass attempt at the number 88. Incomplete. Had it in his hands, could not hold it. Second down coming here. Second and ten. Let's see what the strategy is for the part of the Golden Bear offense. Oh. Ouch. Blocking was not there. For that particular play. It, uh, I think a defense seemed to have that one smelled out. Maybe third down. Still 7.26 according to this one. And counting on the scoreboard clock in the fourth quarter. A lot of time. the middle. Nice run. That's going to be a first down best at about the uh, 16 or 17. That third down play might have been the key to this drive. Very good run. And the clock is running. And Vestal about the 18 of Ithaca. Nothing there on that play. I think a defense stiff in there. I don't understand. 
why somebody's going to get back to the huddle quick down here and be on at the Ithaca folks. Was, uh, <laughs> Thing is for Rusto to get this in. This is a key drive in the ball game right here. There's 32 making a nice run up the middle. Well, actually off of the uh, right tackle. And, oh, let's see. Yep. Is he alright? A little slow getting up, but he got there. Okay. Oh, please. Looks like he might have done an ankle or something on that one. Hopefully nothing serious. Good run by 32. It's first down and goal at the 8. Here we come. Must be the noon whistle, folks. At least I hope it's a noon whistle and not an actual fire. From the fire station, if you look at just a short race from here. up the middle. Ooh. Oh, it's close, but I guess they're ruling he's down. I thought he might have been in. That's going to be third down right on the goal line pretty much. Getting right up there. It's third down and goal. There it is. That's a touchdown. Touchdown, Dusto. That makes it 42 25 with 3.58 to go. One defensive stand from uh, clinching the game. Back to an 18 point lead with a conversion coming. Here we go. Fourth down. I mean, no. Conversion, no. Conversion got touched again. So, stays 42 25. 17 point lead with three minutes and 58 seconds to go on the scoreboard. Time out. Okay, 70 kicking off for Vestal. Okay. For some reason, an onside attempt by the Lux, but it went right to number seven for Ithaca to cover the ball. So we have 3.58 left in the fourth quarter. Ithaca ball, and Ithaca will have the ball at the 48. Their own 48, though. There might have been a logic in that because uh, it did minimize any return possibility. Good job, Sam. Good job, Sam. 
Nice job there. It looks like it's going to be second and maybe 11 or something. Let's see. Oh, maybe just second and 10. Yeah, moving back. Yep, second and 11. Third and about 14. Might be, uh, this might be just a defensive step that will finish the game off. Depending on uh, what happens from here. Huh? And here's lots of people yelling encouragement. Close in the end of the game. 228 to go. There you go, big shot! There you go, That pass was kind of thrown up for grabs by the quarterback as he was going down. And, uh, nobody came up with it. Defense or offense. Let's see. Will it be a punt or will they go for it? Round 42. Considering the lead, I would say they might go for it just simply because they are just going to get, the field position is going to get them very little here. And we're now 17 points. No, well, they are going to punt. Okay, 12 and 20 something back for best of three punts. Vestal's ball about 28, 27 maybe. I was a little surprised by that field position, but they were their side of the 50, so I suppose it was probably a little smaller. Because otherwise they would give them the Bears a short field again. Let's see if the Bear offense can uh, put a couple of first up downs up here and finish this game off. Hmm. Sure, what was happening here with number 20? We might get a delayed game here. Clock is not running, so delay game doesn't benefit anybody. There we go. 211 left fourth quarter. There we go. Must the running play be expected? We are now inside two minutes. And interestingly enough, I guess the, uh, well, this is JV level, so maybe there is no two-minute warning, or maybe the clock is not accurate again, since it has been challenged at least once in this game back late in the third quarter. Still trying to figure out what happened there. Got the ball. Looks like he was going to take a loss, but he may have gotten back the line scrimmage. No, actually, I think he did take a loss. It's now only third and about 11. Well, this looks like a good strategy at this point because we're going to be down less than a minute with a 17 point lead. This makes perfect sense. Yeah, we just passed the minute mark. It must be the clock is accurate, but it looks like the strategy. 
the offense lines up. seconds left. They just marked the ball. I think they're just going to run the clock out, folks. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's it for today's football game. 42-25. A Vesto Golden Bear Baby victory over Ithaca. We're at Dick Cooper Stadium.